Hey guys, it's 007 here, and we're going to talk about uh, my top five favorite War Thunder content creators. Now, we're, when I refer to content creators, I'm referring to people based on YouTube and all that. That's basically the premises that we're going for in that regard. And ultimately, you know, these are the people I think that have contributed the most in regards to the community. And honestly, over a period of time, you know, obviously that, that is a factor to be kept in mind with some people, but ultimately what they individually bring to the community is what I think is important. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. It's just, we're going to be pretty much going down the list. My top five, personally, we're going to go from five to one, obviously, like, what you would expect. What's the point of knowing number one? But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and kick off with it. So, number one, we have Mike Goes Boom. Now, the reason why I say Mike Goes Boom is, obviously, he's, uh, he's probably the only one external to America who made the list. And I say that primarily for the fact that, well, he brings to the community, he brings insight about different things and all that. He has the views that basically talk about the benefits. I, I think most profoundly, him speaking about helicopters was one of the most interesting things he brought up about the concept of uh, helicopter realistic and that was something that really stuck with me was the idea that helicopters could be involved in their own ground battle and I like that idea he, he, I think he talked about I don't know if he talked about it specifically but the concept of having uh, a unified team of helicopters kind of like the air assault mode air arcade air, uh, air arcade defense you know ground arcade defense something like that I thought, you know, that'd be neat. You see just a combined force of helicopter just trying to knock out an AI ground to assault force, trying to wipe their LZ out, which I could totally see in real life, you know, or, well, not just real life, but I could definitely see that as being a productive means for the entire team, a PVE kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, ultimately he brings that. He's got some pretty cool stuff. He's, uh, I'd say he's a pretty skilled player. That's one of the things that helped him make it to the list list. And, uh, personally, I think it's pretty good what he brings, and I think I'd miss him if he uh, stopped doing War Thunder content. Okay, moving on to number four. Orange Fan. Now, the reason why I say Orange Fan would make it to this list is actually mostly profoundly for what he uh, does in his execution. One of the things that really stood out to me when he did his stuff was... Uh, the first tens, which were the first ten battles he would do with the free repairers. And you would get this insight into what it was like for the stock vehicle that you would might be acquiring down the road. For and it's most realistic because people don't always, you know, use money, you know, outside money of the game to advance their vehicles. You know, obviously people would probably take the more cheaper and more game appropriate route of grinding it out. And Ultimately, what he did uh, with the first tens, I really liked because that exposed for players that were new to certain vehicles some things that were neat. And he actually had some pretty neat tactics and tricks up his sleeve. He also highlighted a lot of the defects of vehicles. I remember the Type 60 SPG, uh, SPRG, the self propelled recoilless uh, rifle vehicle. That was very neat for Japan. I, I didn't know there was an issue with the gun barrel. That might have been resolved, but at the time, I, I thought it was neat seeing that. You know, that was something that, if I had driven, I would have never noticed it. Uh, well, if I had driven, I would probably have noticed it at some point, but not knowing about it before even getting near the vehicle was a huge deal. So, that's something that I really like is, you know, content creators exposing vehicles to players and enticing them and giving them the reality of the vehicle when they start out with them. So, that's one thing I really like from Orange Fan. Unfortunately, he makes it to fourth on the list. He's just... There's some quirks that I just kind of have with him that he's just kind of, uh, he can go out on a limb sometimes. <laughs> it can be a little bit wacky. He can really start hacking down on other people. But, uh, moving on to number three. Good old Slick B. To be honest with you, one of the funniest things I gotta say with Slick B is, uh, the way he does his intros is, it's, it's your boy Slick here. That <laughs> stuff just kills me. The way he uh, he just plays it out and all that. It just it, it just it stands out funny to me. And 
The reason why he makes it to the list is actually, he would probably argue otherwise, but I think he's probably the most skilled YouTuber who plays uh, War Thunder. Uh, he picks up on a lot of stuff in the game, and we we'll talk about, you know, obviously someone up other up on the list that, you know, obviously does the same thing, but he more profoundly looks for the, I wouldn't say the coolness factor, but he manages to execute it in a way that's profitable for him in the game. Not in a money sense, but for entertainment, and that's very important. You know, he he looks for the game, and he, man, he could be so funny. I think he manages to sneak in humor into all of his vehicles, which is really good. So, I think kudos to Slick B. I, I think he, he really does bring a lot to the community. But overall, these people, you know, the community, like talking back, you know, number five with Mike Goes Boom, that's, you know, he, he intrigues players. He brings new concepts that people would like and all that. And then, you have orange fan who brings the reality of some vehicles and all that you get exposed to what it's like and even see some good lineups that's something you don't really see with you most youtubers they just go in with one vehicle and just you know try and show it off but uh yes yeah, slippy i gotta say his performance is exceptional in a lot of cases he he really highlights the pros and cons of the vehicle and he eliminated and i liked i liked his uh thought about uh I think he did something similar to what I was talking about with parts and FBE when we were that whole uh, debate was going on, fresh in the YouTube coffers. But moving on, number three. Now we're going to number two. Fly daily. That's probably the biggest shocker. Oh shoot, I screwed that up. Probably the biggest shocker on this list is Fly Daily being at number two. And I kind of. Initially, saying this probably one or two years ago, I would have said the same thing. You know, how could he not be on the top? But I'll explain that later with number one. But what Fly Daily brings to the table is he is a consistent... Honestly, just consistent. There's a lot of people that are consistent in their content. But he consistently looks for vehicles and uh, material. And obviously, that's to get bread on the table. Which, I can respect that. But... Ultimately, what he highlights in stuff is he looks for something that's fun, or he likes to highlight something that's really atrocious in World, uh, War Thunder. And he'll either try and do something massively hilarious with the horrible, or he'll just meme around with the stuff that's just almost flat out overpowered, you know. That's the kind of stuff he gets into, and I, I really like that. It's Consistently, he looks for really good content. And ultimately, we'll see, he probably has the highest subscriber base on YouTube. I could be wrong with that. I think there are some other people that might have had that, but both time gaming was pretty big. But uh, content-wise, he's very consistent in bringing stuff, and he can highlight some of the issues in War Thunder. And I think that's that's pretty good. But uh, ultimately, I don't think he makes it to the top of the list for the pure reason that number one made it to the list. So number one. For YouTube, I have it set to the European Canadian, and the reason why I say the European Canadian deserves the number one spot on this is purely to what he does and what he brings to the table. It's uh, I tell you what, I don't know what his work ethic is, but it's got to be endless because, like, you look at his videos throughout a day; he's putting them up almost by the hour. You know, he's just piling content up and down the road, and that's not the only thing he does. But content, because he'll do. I mean, it's not like the content we specify is primarily he highlights dev blogs and changes to the game, and I think those are very important. You know, not a lot of people have the time to go out to the forums or go out to all the other stuff and dig. That's some people just have life. That's the truth and reality, and <laughs> he helps bring that from the forums and other places you have to dig around with, brings it to a YouTube video, and you know, he tries to suppress it as much as possible. You know. He links it to other videos if you want more information, but he's pretty well informed on the issues. And I think I could agree with a lot of the statements he makes in regards to some policies in War Thunder. I don't agree with all his policies. We'll get that out right off the bat. But what he talks about, I think, is very important. And the thing is that I like about what he does is he's very analytical. Being analytical about the game might not be fun to some other people, but... The reality is it highlights, you know, whether what parts of the game are effective and what parts of the game are going to be a struggle for people. 
that's important. You have to know what you're doing. You going outside every day, you know, wondering what the weather is instead of looking at the weather is just going to be a horrible life for you. You're just going to keep. You might get a kick out of being surprised all the time, but you're going to find days where it hurts. And I'm not going to say you're going to get punished to that detail, but you you deserve to know what's going on and things that you do. And I think he really does a good job. And I don't think he gets enough credit. He he honestly should get enough credit for what he uh, what he does for this game. It's just outstanding. Uh, I gotta say, a lot of the stuff he he'll go and look at the maps. That was one of the things that he did. He went and looked at the new maps that they're adding and all that. I didn't even know they were adding them. I thought this was kind of like a eh, they're just doing this for custom battles. No, this is flat out. They're doing this so you can see everything and all that. But also one of the things I do like is the tournament system that he does. I don't think many other YouTubers really do a tournament system. It's They might do like a raffle or something like that, but that's more down to their stream or just small policy, nothing major. But he's very active in getting involved in his community and doing a lot of stuff. I know Fly Daily would do the, you know, the whole get in a custom battle, let's go fly a thousand B-17s at 7262s and see what happens. That stuff's fun, but you know, there's a lot of other stuff. And obviously, I'm not saying any of these YouTubers should be hated more than the other. And they shouldn't be hated. They shouldn't be hating them because they're in the top five. They should be loving them. But the effort that they go through and all that, like I said, what European Canadian does, I just I can't imagine what his work ethic is. Because if he's not making videos or doing uh, tournaments, he's talking with the... He's talking with his community, and that's awesome. I, I really enjoy that stuff. So, yeah, that's my top five right there. Obviously, going down... Actually, no, I don't know if we'll do that, because that might give it away. Uh, maybe. We might look at something. I'll figure out what to do. But, at the end of the video, probably the next... I don't know how many seconds, but... Uh, under three seconds. Uh, I'll be linking as many of their channels as I can, and one or vid a video or two, maybe to go with it. But ultimately, guys, I gotta say that's pretty much it. Top five, you can agree or disagree, but that's all I gotta say. Excellent YouTubers, excellent content creators. I think you should all support their channels, and that's all I gotta really say. So I'm Double Seven, and I will see you guys later.